Hi all, Bitono supports understanding your code. I'll cover a few steps of how to use it effectively. Once you have the functionality for understanding your code enabled in Bito, anytime you open a new project, here I'll open a POC project to test. Whenever you open a new project and you open the Bito panel, Bito will show you this particular message. It says, do you want to enable indexing of your code so that Bito can understand your code and answer questions related to it. Now you can choose to enable or you can say maybe later. Here I select maybe later. Bito panel now has a new icon out here where you can manage your repos. You can click on this at any given of time to see all the repositories that you've opened and whether they are indexed or not. Here as you can see I have opened the POC repository which is not yet indexed. If I had clicked enable there then Bito would have started indexing it. I can click on start index at any given of time to start indexing of the current repository or the folder that you've opened. As you can see, indexing is currently in progress and it's shown in a yellow folder icon. Here in the Bito panel, you'll see POC again in the yellow icon, which is basically stating that indexing is in progress. Once the indexing is complete, then Bito will be able to answer questions based on your code. As you can see, indexing is now complete and the icon has turned green. If you go to manage your repos option in the Bito panel, you'll see that it is completely indexed. Now I can ask it any question related to my code. To utilize my code or like, you know, have Bito answer questions based on your local code, you can use terms like my code, my project, my repository, my repo when asking questions to Bito. Now let's ask it a simple question related to your code. List all the files that need changes to add column description in my code. Now note because I have used my code, it will understand that you want to basically get the answers based on your code. So it is going through your code, utilizing the index that it has created to answer the question. As you can see, it's answering question based on the code in the folder that you've opened. There you go, you have the answer. Now let's also open a separate folder, right? Let me basically open a different folder here. Instead of uh, POC, let me actually open automation, which is a different project. Yes, I trust the authors. Again, go and open Bito. As Bito has seen a new folder, it is asking you, do you want to enable AI that understands your code? This time I'll click enable. As you can see, now it is indexing the automation folder. It's already indexed. If you go to your repositories, here you'll see two repositories. The one which is currently opened is shown here at the top always. And then all the other repositories which have been indexed or opened, ever opened in Bito, will be shown below with their indexing status. You can click these three dots in case you don't want to use that particular folder ever. So you can basically click delete which will delete its index. Next time you open the folder and you still want Bito to actually give you answers based on the code within that particular folder or repository, you can again go and index that particular folder. That's it. Thank you. Hope you enjoy.